Okay, so this is our first lesson of the year. It's a review lesson. It's adding and subtracting integers. Just like last year, we're going to be talking about the lesson objectives or the I can statements, the things that you should be able to do when you finish the lesson. So for this video, the lesson objective is I can add and subtract integers. Very quickly, I want to do a little bit of vocabulary just as a reminder. Really, all of this should be review, but it's been a long summer, so I want to make sure you remember how to do it. So the first thing I want to talk about is positive. A positive number is larger than zero. Okay? And if you're looking at a number line, it's on the right side of the zero. A negative number is smaller than zero or less than zero. And it is on the left side of the number line, of zero on the number line. All right. Opposite. When we're talking about positives and negatives and we're talking about integers, opposite means the number with the opposite sign. So the opposite of 2 is negative 2. The opposite of negative 35 is 35. We're going to need that later on in this lesson. All right, and one more thing that we'll need in this lesson is absolute value. Remember that absolute value has the lines on the outside of the number. So if I have a 3 in here, all absolute value means is how far is any number away from 0. Okay? Let me write that underneath. How far any number is from 0. And something you should always remember about absolute value is that all absolute values are positive. So the absolute value of 3 is 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3 also. That's how far they are away from 0. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about the rules for adding integers. The first rule you always want to remember for adding integers is that when the signs are the same, add the two numbers and keep the sign. Okay, so for instance, negative 50 and negative 48. I'm going to add those together. Since they have the same sign, it means that I'm going left of the number line. So I'm just going to add the two numbers together, 50 plus 48, which makes 98. And since there are 50 negatives and 48 negatives, my 98 is also going to be negative. Okay? And here's one that should look familiar to you. These are two positives. 3 plus 7 is 10. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Those are things that we learned last year. The second rule for adding integers is a little bit trickier, okay? When the signs are different, you subtract the numbers, and then you have to look at the numbers and see which has the largest absolute value, and that tells you what sign it is. So let me show you what I mean. 40 and negative 25, those signs are different. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract my numbers. I know that 40 minus 25 is... 15. Now I have to decide, is it positive or negative? Well, the absolute value of 40 is 40, and the absolute value of negative 25 is positive 25. 40 is farther away, so my answer is going to be positive. Okay, let's look at the next one. Negative 5, positive 48. If I use my rule, I know that they're different signs, so I'm going to subtract the two numbers. 48 take away 5 is 43. Now, let's look at their absolute values. The absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5. The absolute value of 48 is 48. 48 is farther away, so that makes my answer positive. Pretty simple, and I hope you remember it from last year. Okay, so now we're going to subtract integers. This is the tricky part from last year. The one thing I want you to remember is do not subtract. Do not subtract, do not subtract, do not subtract. I want you to change it into an addition sentence. And the way you do that is by adding the opposite. And then once it's an addition sentence, you can refer back to the addition rules. So let's, let's turn these into addition sentences just so you remember. OK, 
okay? Negative 24 minus 11. So we're gonna change that into addition. Negative 24 plus, and then this is 11. So we're going to add the opposite. The opposite of 11 is negative 11, okay? Let's rewrite the next one. Negative 21 minus negative 31. So negative 21 plus, and then what's the opposite of negative 31? It's positive 31. So let's add these. These are the same sign, so I know I just add them together. And 24 plus 11 is 35. Since they're both negative, that means that my answer will also be negative. Let's look at the next one. Negative 21 and positive 31. They're different signs. So 31, so I subtract. 31 take away 21 is 10. And when I look at their absolute values, 31 has the biggest absolute value, so the answer is going to be positive. Hopefully this isn't crazy and you remember it. So go ahead and slip to the next slide. Uh-oh, what do we do when there are decimals? Well, we do the very same thing. So let's just change it. Here we go. This is a minus. I don't want a minus. So we're going to change it to 17.9. Sorry. Plus, and then this is negative 19.4. So now it's going to be positive. Add the opposite, 0.4. I notice they're both positive, so I just add them together, and that's 37.3. If you don't remember how to do that, you line the decimals up when you're adding them together, and you drop the decimal point. So three, then one up here, and that's 37.3. Just a quick refresher. I'm going to erase that and get it out of our way. All right, let's try the next one. 7.1, and it's a minus, and I don't want to subtract, so I'm going to add plus, and the opposite of 9.8 is negative 9.8. So, there are two different signs. I subtract the numbers. I get 2.7. Then I'm going to look back at their absolute values. The absolute value of 7.1 is 7.1. The absolute value of 9 point, negative 9.8 is positive 9.8. Positive 9.8 is farther away, so my answer will be negative. All right, these are a bit more tricky, but practice makes perfect. You try them yourself, then come back and we'll see how you did. All right, let's do this one in a couple of steps. Let's do this first. 10 plus negative 6, they're different signs, so I'm going to subtract them. So that's 4, and there's more positives, so that makes that 4 minus 4. Now I don't want to subtract, so I'm going to change that to addition. Add the opposite. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. Let's try the next one. Ne negative 13.6 plus 12. I get negative 1.6 minus 15. And I want to change that, so I did that first. Negative 1.6 plus, and the opposite of 15 is negative 15. They're the same sign, so I just add them together. I get negative 16.6. If you have any questions, you can ask us tomorrow during class when we're doing the activity and the practice. Um, make sure you write them down.